the M50, uh, 65 So we're going to do exactly what we do with the S10 at the same time of day. So right now it's about 3 o'clock. Temperature's still pretty high. Um, and I've just started doing this. So yeah, so we're going to see how badly I overheat in this mask hot human environment and I'll report it back to you. Anyway, see you shortly. Now. Okay, it's already been about five minutes and I'm starting to sweat this thing quite heavily compared to the S10. It's uh, getting hot in here because of the rubber. It's really thick and uh, it has resistance. So I'm going to keep walking, I'm going to keep reporting. We're at the five minute mark. Oh, there. Right back. Now, uh, it's really hot in here, I'm sweating uh, like the S10, but uh, we're only at 10 minutes. I'm sweating like it's 25 minutes. It's getting really hot this thing. I don't think I'm going to make it, but yeah, well, I'll keep you updated. Uh, if I can't make it, I'll stop the mask because it's too unbearable. But so far, uh, so good. Eighteen minutes. Gosh, it's hot. This thing. Okay, so uh, after temperature, I'm just gonna say this straight up: the M65 is definitely not designed. The M69 is definitely not designed for uh, hot temperatures. I'll tell you that much. Even though it's still windy, I'm sweating like a pig underneath this. So, I'd rather an S10 in this environment. But, we'll have to do further testing. Uh, also, an issue is the harnesses on the mask are getting very uncomfortable and they're tugging at my hair and starting to tear it out. Uh, that's about it, really. Um, the bottom of the mask is collapsing onto my chin and the sweat is making it really irritable to feel. So... Yeah, otherwise, it's livable. It's giving me a headache right now. So yeah, I could do with a drinking straw. It'd be nice to have a drink in this mask. But yeah, anyway. Let's keep going. Okay, I am back. And uh, it's been about 28, 22 minutes. And it's unbearable. It is very uncomfortable, this mask. I'm going to take it off soon. But, that has the test where this mask is definitely not designed for this environment. And the rubber is far too thick. There's no drinking straw. And uh, the exhale, uh, there's a lot of resistance compared to the S10, so it's hard to breathe. So I'm going to dock the mask now. But hey, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the test video. I'll see you soon.